This is Two Sheds Gabby. I'm in Illinois and it is monsooning. I have picked up my four boxes of half dollars and it's actually lighter now so I feel comfortable being able to do this. I couldn't see out the road a little while ago but uh, hopefully we'll make it home. <laughs> I hear the hail coming now. About 45 minutes later and it's still just as bad as ever. Another 40 minutes later, and it's still crazy. We made it home. <laughs> Yay. I'm tired, but let's go open up those boxes of halves, see if there's anything on top. All right, I got the four boxes out of the car and on my table. We'll just pop them open and see if anything happens to show up on top. At least they're not all new. That one's new. Okay, well, I'll get into them soon. I'm not sure if I can do it yet or not. I may have to wait till in the morning. First box, one 2002 NIFC. No silver. Box two, four NIFC coins, all different years. No silver. Five more NIFCs. No silver. Well, folks, I'm in the fourth box, and you know, I might actually have a silver right there at the end of my thumb. I do. It's a 1968. So, five hours of driving in the storm got me a 1968 40% half dollar. I'm so glad I'm not skunked, though. <laughs> I got one. Just a few rolls left and I'll be done, but I got another one of those military stickers. I just love these things. This is the Battle of Britain, July 10th to October 31st, 1940. They are so neat looking. I'm glad I found that. Still just the one silver. I have picked up a few more NIFCs, but I think I got like six more rolls to go and I'll be done. Here's the other ones I had, and then here's my new one. Pretty cool. Also have a couple of space ones too. I'd love to find more of these. And I got several more NFCs, and here's the other ones from the other boxes here. And the one silver. Yay. I wasn't completely skunked on that. That's it. I got two more boxes coming on Tuesday. And hopefully we'll add another one or two silvers to that. And we'll see you then. The day after I went through those four boxes, we had big storms here. And we've been without power for three days. That's why you haven't seen any videos from me. Finally got the power back on today. I went and picked up. The two boxes of halves that have been waiting for me over there and I'm going to open them up and see if we can add 
another silver to the one. Uh, hopefully we'll find something in there. Let's get right to it. While we were up in Indiana and then over to Illinois to get half dollars last week, those four boxes, we spent a little time with my son. And apparently he shared his stomach virus with my wife. She's been suffering with it the last three days. And um, apparently she has shared it with me because I'm starting to uh, feel it coming on now. So it's been a rough, the storms and the sicknesses and power outages. <laughs> it's It's been a rough week, but uh, let's see if it can cheer us up a little bit with a silver or two. Not that I'm not cheerful. I see some new ones. As few of those as possible would be grand. I see quite a few new ones. Anyway, still might be something in there. Keep your fingers crossed for me. A few weeks ago, I got a couple of boxes that was half and half like this. Half new and half other stuff. And I don't think I got any silver in those boxes. So I was kind of expecting the same this time, but I am a, the 11th row in and there is a silver right there. 40%. That's really cool. Uh, maybe I'll get a few more, but sure has my hopes up. I tell you, neato. Well, I went through the rest of the box. And that's the only one I found. Now let's go to box two, see if we can find one there. Well, with about 15 rolls left to do in the second half, right there in the middle, I see that look of what is, I think, a 40 percenter. Yes, indeed, Bob. We got one in this box. That's cool. Each one gets me that step closer to my annual goal of 100 silver coins for 2024. Okay, I finished the box without finding any more. So I got one for this box, one for the box before this, and then one for the four boxes I picked up in Illinois and drove five hours in the storm for. <laughs> yeah, you know, you just take chances sometimes. Sometimes it's a lot of fun. Sometimes it doesn't turn out quite so well. This three puts me at 53 for the year to date total. Um, so that's just keep plugging away I, with all the moving and stuff I'm doing. I'm just not able to get out and search banks very much. So I'm going to keep ordering two boxes a week from this bank. And, you know, hopefully I can just keep plugging away and plugging away uh, at 53 and it's not June yet. So I'm, I'm doing good basically. So let's, Let's keep at it. We'll see you. Thanks for watching.